Basketball history is filled with shocking moments, from the block to unforgettable dunks. Fans have seen unbelievable miracles on the court. Today, we will be looking at some of almost impossible shots in basketball history. Let's dive in, shall we? Number one, Havlicek stole the ball. Even if you can't place the play, you can still recall the call. Johnny Most's raspy voice yelling as Hal Greer was drawn in by John Havlicek to throw a wayward pass toward Chet Walker late in game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals. Havlicek was the heart of Boston's championship teams in the 1960s. Sam Jones received the tip from Havlicek, who then ran out the clock to advance the Celtics to the NBA Finals. He gets it out deep and Havlicek steals it over to Sam Jones. It's all over! It's all over! Johnny has the ball. Number two, John Paxson seals Bulls' three-peat. Most Bulls fans revere Michael Jordan as the greatest athlete to have ever dribbled a basketball. As great as he was, his airness still needed help from his teammates at times. Enter John Paxson. Chicago had just won back-to-back -back titles in 91 and 92. Looking to defend their crown, the Bulls led the Phoenix Suns 3-2 in the 1993 Finals. With time running out in Game 6, Horace Grant found an open Paxson who proceeded to knock down an open three. Number 3. Willis Reed walks through the tunnel in Game 7. During Game 5 of the 1970 NBA Finals, Reed, the league's regular season MVP, tore the tensor muscle up around his thigh on a non-contact play. After the Lakers tied the series 3-3, by defeating the Knicks without Reed in Game 6, Reed received three Carbocane injections to numb the leg and be available for Game 7. The Madison Square Garden audience was delighted by his presence as the Knicks won their first NBA championship, even though he only scored four points and dragged his leg. Number 4. Chris Paul, Clippers vs Spurs, 2015. A stunning end to one of the greatest first round series ever. Both teams' hopes of winning the championship were crushed by this tough series. The Spurs because they were eliminated, and the Clippers because they ran out of steam in the following round. Nevertheless, what a shot. Number 5. Dr. J dunks on Michael Cooper. Elite Lakers defender. Cooper's head nearly hit the bottom of the backboard as he attempted to stop the dunk as Irving came dangerously close to beheading him. However, Dr. J was unaffected by anything throughout that crucial play. Julius Irving snatched the ball, dribbled, cradled, and cocked it back with just his right hand before gliding to the basket for a tremendous slam that is still regarded as one of the best ever. When the teams played again that year, the Sixers went on to defeat the Lakers to win the championship. Number 6. Dirk Nowitzki, Mavericks vs. Heat, 2011. You wouldn't expect Dirk's most famous shot to be a layup, but in Game 2 of the 2011 NBA Finals, Nowitzki attacked the rim with a few seconds remaining to give Dallas a lead in a victory that seemed huge in the moment and ended up being one of the most important shots of the decade. Miami suffered its first home playoff loss that year, and this shot tied the series at one all. Dallas was able to stay in the series thanks to this shot, which also helped the team, and he managed to do it with an injured left hand. Number 7. MJ switches hands midair. Michael Jordan drove down the lane and went up for a layup in Game 2 of his first finals in 1991. However, when Lakers center Sam Perkins moved in to block the shot, Jordan had to acrobatically switch to a left-handed finish while in midair, earning Marv Albert's legendary praise for his action. A spectacular move by Michael Jordan. Number 8. Ron Artest, Lakers vs. Suns, 2010. The Western Conference Finals were tied 2-2, and Phoenix was set for Game 6. With a few seconds left, the score was knotted at 101. Kobe Bryant attempts to be the hero with a wild turnaround three on the wing that airballs about a foot and a half short. However, Artest is Ronnie on the spot and gets the putt back at the buzzer to win the game, putting LA up 3-2. They finish it off in Phoenix and defeat the Celtics in the championship game. Number 9. Kemp dunks all over Alton Lister. There was a backstory to the most brutal dunk in NBA playoff history. 
Alton Lister, a seven-foot journeyman, shoved Sean Kemp in the air during game two of the Seattle Supersonics and Golden State Warriors 1992 first round series. The game was won by Lister's Warriors after a brawl broke out. A few days later, with the Sonics leading 2-1, Kemp snatched a pass on the edge, took one step, and launched a slam that knocked Lister toward the baseline. Kemp knelt down and pointed two fingers directly at Lister, as if that wasn't awful enough. Basketball revenge is in its all-time finest form. Number 10, Sundiata Games, Jazz vs. Cavaliers, 2010. Not all fantastic shots have equally incredible stakes. An undrafted rookie facing LeBron James and the Cavaliers in his sixth NBA contest hits the game-winning three-pointer at the buzzer. Gaines didn't play in the NBA for very long, but with this shot, he left a lasting impression on his career. Isn't it amazing? Number 11, Ray Allen's clutch three that saved Miami. Get those mother ropes off the court. If you tried to describe the events leading up to Ray Allen's miraculous three-pointer in game six of the 2013 finales, a Disney executive would laugh at the theatrix. The history of legends like Allen, LeBron, Dwayne Wad, Tim Duncan, Greg Popovich, Kawhi Leonard, and others was greatly influenced by this backbreaking shot for San Antonio. Few shots in the game's history have weighed as much as Allen's did. Number 12, LeBron James, Cavaliers versus Pacers, 2018. The whole match had fans on the edge throughout and it ended with LeBron leaping onto the scorer's table in celebration. Game five of the first round playoff series between the Cavaliers and Indiana Pacers. The score tied at 95. With three seconds left, James took the inbounds pass and drilled a three-pointer at the buzzer. The shot, yes, this shot, helped propel the Cavs to the 2018 NBA Finals. Darren Collison, a guard then playing for the Pacers, said, he's always going to keep you on your toes on the help side because he's willing to pass it to the guy you're guarding. So the guy that's guarding him, you just gotta pray that he misses. Number 13, Steph Curry pulls up from deep to beat OKC. The best shot ever during a regular season was this one, and it was utterly disrespectful. Curry defeated the Thunder, the Warriors' most dangerous conference opponent during their 73-win season without having to pull up from damn near half court that particular day. In addition to wanting to win, he also wanted to win in order to show how powerful and unstoppable he had grown to be. Number 14, Jeremy Lin, Knicks vs. Raptors, 2012. In 2012, Jeremy Lin was an overnight sensation who gradually lost steam over the next few years. Just three weeks before this game, his fifth in the NBA as a starter, he was still playing in the G League. Coach Mike D'Antoni asked his inexperienced point guard to make the game-winning shot on a squad that included veterans like Amari Stoudemire and Mike Bibby. D'Antoni signaled for isolation as Lin had the ball at midcourt and Linsaniti got to work. He patiently made four dribbles before launching a three-pointer and goosenecking the follow-through. And this game and this shot marked the peak of Linsaniti. Number 15, the block. Possibly the most spectacular defensive play in basketball history, according to records. LeBron James's block in Game 7 of the 2016 Finals somehow wasn't even the biggest play on a night filled with dramatic moments. That distinction goes to Kyrie Irving's go-ahead three. However, it's a fitting image to represent Cleveland's legendary comeback for its first NBA championship. And after a lifetime full of exciting situations, Jameis finally created his most iconic image. Number 16, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Lakers vs. Utah, 1984. Wilt Chamberlain held the top spot on the all-time scoring list for 11 years before Kareem Abdul-Jabbar broke it with one of his numerous skyhooks. It had to be especially satisfying for Chamberlain to see his record beaten because he and Abdul-Jabbar formerly had a wonderful mentor-mentee relationship that deteriorated once they became rivals in the NBA. This game was played in Las Vegas of all places because Jazz, the other team, played a few games there in the middle of the 1980s. Before Kareem ever touched the ball on the possession that awarded him the record, the pro Lakers Vegas crowd began shouting and afterward gave him a standing ovation. Number 17, Michael Jordan, Bulls versus Jazz, 1998. Everyone recalls the shot, but many fail to recall the events that preceded it. With 41 seconds remaining and the score nodded, John Stockton made a three-pointer. Four seconds after Chicago called a timeout, 
Jordan scored and then stripped Carl Malone at the other end of the court. Jordan had the final shot in mind before it happened, as evidenced by his legendary last comments. Brian Russell was about to slip when Jordan dribbled to the foul line, knocked down the shot, and left up the gooseneck follow-through, which is one of the most famous moments in sports history. And that's it for this video. Please click the like and subscribe buttons down below if you found it riveting. To make sure you don't miss any uploads, tap the bell icon. Share the video and comment down your thoughts. See you in the next one.